What's up guys, I'm LQ. This is the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that I love to talk about. Movies and video games, comic books and TV shows. And right now I'd like to ask a question. I'd like to ask a question. Where is the Jaws sequel? Where is it? Let's think about what we've seen, what the trend that we've seen in Hollywood is. <laughs> everything is getting a sequel everything that we have nostalgia for is getting a sequel most of it's not getting remade either because remakes aren't very popular what we're getting for the most part is sequels that are set years and years later sometimes decades later after the original you know we've seen it with cobra kai um you know we, we we've seen it with a lot of properties this idea of bringing in a sequel years later um Blade Runner, obviously. Indiana Jones, obviously. There's a lot of them. Um, Star Wars did it with the sequel trilogy. And where's Jaws? Now, I get it. I get it. Jaws 1 is a masterpiece. Jaws 1 is my favorite movie of all time. I mean, it's a great book. It's a great movie. Jaws 2, it gets some hate, but Jaws 2 is a highly watchable movie. Jaws 3 was garbage. Jaws 4 was worse than garbage. It was one of the worst movies of all time. So I get it. The franchise has not been in a healthy place for quite some time. However, Jaws 4 was over 30 years ago. It was over 30 years ago. 87, 97, 2007, 2017. So it was like 33, 34 years ago. It's okay to reboot a franchise after 30 plus years. The bad taste of Jaws 4 is out of everybody's mouths. We can get another Jaws movie. It's okay. Um, especially given the world that we live in. All right, There has been a resurgence in serious shark movies. Now, I'm not talking about Sharknado or Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. I'm not talking about those tongue-in-cheek, so bad they're good, or just so bad they're awful movies. Um, shark and Saw State Prison, for example. Or Jurassic Shark. Or Santa Jaws. <laughs> um, no, I'm talking about the serious... Sorry. I'm talking about the serious shark movies. Like The Reef. Open Water. Um, there's a Reef sequel coming out, uh, The Meg, The Shallows, all right, we've had some, we've had some movies, I want to know if The Meg really qualifies as serious, but The Shallows and The Reef, Open Water, all three of those I would, I would count as serious in tone, scary shark movies. Now we can debate the success of them on whether or not they achieved their goal of being scary, but that was the intention, was to be scary. And they took, they took it seriously. So since we've seen a resurgence of those types of shark movies, and since the B shark movies have never really gone away, we've kind of established that shark movies in of themselves have a following. People like shark movies. People like to watch shark movies and they like to, uh, to, to be scared or laugh with the shark movies. And when you have a property like Jaws, Jaws is the the OG shark movie. It's the quintessential shark movie. It is when people think about shark movies, they think about Jaws. So with shark movies making a resurgence, specifically I think about The Shallows, The Reef, and uh, The Shallows, The Reef, and Open Water. When you have movies like that making a resurgence and bringing respectability back to the shark franchise, why do we not have Jaws coming back? Now you can say, well, well, Jaws is any shark any shark movie could be Jaws. Well, okay. I feel you. I suppose any shark movie could be Jaws. But there's a couple elements that any shark movie doesn't have. Any shark movie does not have the name. Any shark movie does not have the music. And don't underestimate the effectiveness of that shark of that Jaws music. The Jaws theme the, uh, the kind of uh, upbeat adventure music that plays. Uh, there's lots of John Williams score that is iconic and has an impact on how we feel about a movie. So don't underestimate the importance of that Jaws score. So name, score, and locations. All right, Amity Island. 
Amity Island has meaning to me. If there was another shark movie set on Amity Island, it would it would be cool. It would be cool. And characters. Now, I do not want another Jaws movie that focuses on the Brody family. That's silly to me. That's silly to me. That's that's uh, that's that's kind of treading in Jaws the Revenge waters. What I would like to see is so let me give you guys my pitch for a Jaws a, a, a Jaws sequel. This Jaws sequel would would be a direct sequel to the original. I guess that we could allow two to happen, but this under in in this movie three and four would not have happened. And in this movie, Amity Island is living and prospering. And they're a vacation town, just like they were in the 70s. They're a vacation town again. They're, they're a resort town. And another shark comes. Another shark comes 40 plus years later. And what kind of impact is a rogue shark going to have on the economy of Amity Island today? Not only set in the modern world, where you're going to have conservationists who are going to be saying, well, the people who go in the water need to know that they're not at the top of the food chain anymore. And you're going to have conservationists who are going to be against going out and hunting the shark because it's just doing what sharks do. Um, so exploring that end of it, exploring the business end of Amity um, during a tourist season while there's shark attacks going on, I would want to see, you know, I always say that Jaws isn't a shark movie. Jaws is a character study of three men who have to respond to an economic crisis on an island that's the result of a series of shark attacks. It's a character study. I would want to see a character study again. Only this character study could be a character study of the response of citizens of Amity Island to, some, to a repeat of something that happened almost five decades ago. How do they respond to that? knowing the history of the island there would be a certain level of discovery that would happen where they would have to you know be at the chief or be at somebody else would be discover rediscovering what happened 40 plus years ago and how to apply that knowledge to the current um issue at hand and uh having to fight the fact that how do we solve this problem given the fact that there's going to be pushback from um local conservationists that's that to me would make an interesting shark story where during an inter interesting jaw story where during the course of all this going on there's still attacks there's still it, the shark's not going away so that would be interesting to me now so it would be on amity island it would have the jaws title it would have the jaws theme if you want to tie it further to the jaws lore i could see quint's gr uh, grandson being in the movie it would make sense for quint's grandson to be in the movie because quint was from amity the brodies were not from amity their family lived off of amity hooper was not from amity so you're not gonna have hooper's grandson come in because he wasn't from amity but quint's grandson would probably live on amity so i could see a connection there and i think that would be an interesting connection to make but overall the big question I'm asking here is, where's the Jaws sequel at? Why has it not been made yet? We're getting everything greenlit from the past. We're getting a new Gremlins TV series. We got a new Save by the Bell. A new Save by the Bell reboot. We're getting everything new. Halloween's getting reboot. Everything. Well, it got reboot. Everything is getting reboot or has gotten reboot. Reboot. Rebooted. <laughs> Why? has Jaws not returned given the fact that we have seen a resurgence in shark movies and Jaws is still popular it's still popular it has a following I don't know I don't know I'm ready though I'm ready for Jaws to come back what do you guys think why has Jaws not gotten a sequel after 30 plus years let me know what you think in the comments down below I'd love to hear your thoughts on it uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm clueless. I don't know why. I don't know why. Everything else is getting reboot. Why not rebooted? 
Why not Jaws? Let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here at the OQ Review, where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you later.